Welcome back in international headlines. India becomes the first country to land a spacecraft near the moon's south pole. It's a spot scientists believe could hold vital reserves of frozen water and precious elements. The mission comes just days after Russia's attempt at the same thing ended in an unfortunate crash. Caroline Chively has the latest from Washington. This control room in India burst into applause as the Chandrayaan-3 unmanned lunar module landed on the moon Wednesday morning. The hard work of the entire ISRO community has come to fruition. It was a major milestone for the country's burgeoning space program, just one of many missions they're planning in the coming decades. We will be now looking at putting the man in uh, space, putting a uh, spacecraft around uh, Venus, and landing a craft in Mars. This follows Saturday's crash of a Russian unmanned spacecraft on the moon, which had taken off to much fanfare, an embarrassment for the program that launched the first satellite into orbit. Although even failure has its plus side, unmanned crashes can reveal software problems or design flaws and even expose deeper parts of the lunar surface to be explored by future missions. The competition for manned and unmanned missions to the moon is heating up between governments and now private entities. The U.S. has a number of private companies getting into the game, including Blue Origin and SpaceX. And India is now opening up its space program to private investors. This success belongs to all of humanity. There's more than just bragging rights at stake. The moon could hold millions and possibly billions of dollars in minerals and rare metals underneath its surface, including those used in nuclear fusion technology. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox News.